Woogie walking bass pattern here and we're tuned to open G this is a G string this is a D string and another G string so this is tuned G D G G D G super common G tuning for a three string cigar box guitar that's sort of just kind of how it turns out why why are so many people tuning to open G well it's a super common tuning for many different keys if you're playing in the key of A, you can tune to G and put a capo on the second fret, and now you're playing in the key of A, or B, or C, or D, or whatever. So open G tuning is very common. It's not the only tuning, but it's a great beginner's tuning, and a lot of people, that's all they use. They just use a capo to change the key. So this is a walking blues pattern, but we're sort of doing a shuffle with all three strings. It's not a single string walk up like my other video. This will be your single string walk up or blues shuffle. So that's finger picking the three strings and doing a shuffle. This one, you're strumming all three strings. So let's get right to it. What you're going to be doing is starting with the open G chord and do a down up. In fact, what we should probably do is back up and just do a down up, down up, down up. So this is the shuffle pattern, strum pattern, that you'll be using. So we'll start out pretty slow. So you want to keep that beat real steady, and you want to tap your foot exactly on that beat. So here's the walking pattern. So we're going to be playing down up. And you're going to put your second finger on 3-3, three, three, third string, third fret. Now you're going to play in another open. I'll explain it later. So no fingers at all. Second finger on 3-3. Three, three. No fingers at all again. I'll explain that later. First finger on 2-2. Two, two. And your second finger on 2-3. Walk back down. Just go back where you were. So that's way too fast to start out for newbies. No offense. So we'll start out a little bit slower and we'll speed it up here. Make sure you do a steady down up, down up. And start out slow, don't start too fast. A lot of people don't know what is too fast. So if it's really making you sweat, you're probably doing it a little bit too fast. So slow it down just a little bit more. And if that's still making you sweat, slow down some more. And if that's still making you sweat, slow down some more. Start out slow, like slow, like really like so slow that you're embarrassed to be playing that slow. Because in another 30 seconds or a minute, you'll be speeding up a lot, trust me. shuffle and I'm playing the G chord and I'm shuffling the notes. That means I'm playing a bass walk-up bass pattern and the chord at the same time. Here's your walk-up bass pattern and here's the chord. And you can play them at the same time so it gives you a nice fat sound. It sounds like two people playing guitar. And you're like, what? Two people playing? What? It doesn't sound like two people playing guitar. Yeah, it does. You've heard this millions of times. Nobody really stops to think that, wow, that's a walking bass pattern. You got one guy playing the bass. Here's the bass part. Remember upright bass, right? That's the bass part, the bass guitar part. 
it's tuned just like a guitar, so you're playing bass and guitar at the same time. If y'all don't understand that, that's cool. I didn't understand it at first either. Anyway, back to what we were doing. So that's your open G walking bass. I'm not just going playing a shuffle. Nothing wrong with that. It's just a different way of doing it. Nothing wrong with a shuffle. This is a walking bass pattern. This is just a shuffle on the guitar. This is the bass pattern that a bass guitar would play. So you've got the bass pattern and the guitar chords. It's not the actual bass notes that you would play because this is a totally different octave, but it's the same notes, if that makes any sense. A bass would be much lower on the G. In fact, just for kicks, I'll show you where the actual bass guitar G would be. guitar. Now that's a cigar box guitar G. So your bass is an octave lower, 12 notes. That's a lot of notes lower. Okay, back to where we were. Now to start out, all you want to do is just slam your thumb and your first finger across all three strings. But you don't want to do it that way. If you start out too fast, the walking is going to be tough. If that's too fast for the walking, slow down some more. No big deal. If that's too fast, which it probably will be for some beginners, slow it down just a little bit more. Not a big deal. You'll be speeding up in about 10, 15 minutes. Here we go. picking the individual bass notes, then the chord. I'm emphasizing the bass notes, obviously. So, that's just the G chord. There's three chords in the blues, that's the first chord. So we still have two more chords to go. So you go up to the fifth fret. A lot more difficult, I'll be honest with you, up here. For most of y'all, maybe some of y'all will get it right off the bat. Bar across all three strings, fifth fret. And you're gonna use your pinky three frets above your first string. So that's a pretty good stretch for beginners. So I'm playing the bass note, then I'm doing an up strum with my finger. Bass note is played by the thumb. So I'm going from the 5th fret all the way to the 6th, 7th, 8th fret with my pinky. So you got to stretch. 5th fret, 8th fret. Now we play the middle string with your thumb. Then you use your 2nd finger on the 7th fret. Then you use the pinky on the 8th, and then you go back down to the 7th with your 3rd finger, and then you go down to the 5th with your 1st finger. Then you use your pinky here, and you're all like, what? You're going way too fast, Jack. Yep, I am. on the third string. Those two. With their up strum on all three in between. Now you move your thumb to the second finger. Second string, sorry. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast, but I want to get the kind of overview here. So now I'm going to go slow, like slow, like real slow.
So I'm using my first finger on that one, my third finger on that one, my pinky on this one. So it's first, pinky. Now I'm not, I'm not fretting anything except the first finger. Third finger, pinky, back to third, back to open. So when you bar across here, that takes care of that note. Right there. So notice what I'm doing here. I'm doing a down with my thumb and the first finger does an up strum. Notice how I do move my thumb to the second string when I get over there. Right now. I'm using my thumb on the second string because I'm walking the bass notes that are on that second string. Here's the bass notes on the first string. Well, third string, sorry. I'm getting you all confused. Those are the two bass notes on the third string. Here's the three notes on the second string. Fifth fret, seventh, and eighth. So that is the one chord, or the G. The one chord is always the key of the song. If the key is F, the one is F. If the key is in G, the one is the G. If the key is B, one is the B. Okay, so. That's your walking bass pattern. You're playing guitar and bass at the same time, and you're all like, what? No, I'm not, I'm playing guitar. Well, you're playing the bass line, which is the walking pattern. You're playing two parts at the same time. Ever seen a video of somebody playing an upright bass playing old timey blues? Boom da 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 boom. That's the bass player. So this is the bass. But here's the guitar. Well, that's only one chord over and over and over, Jack. Yep, exactly. You got it. So that's the G chord with the walking bass pattern. So actually, that's not the G chord. Sorry. That's the C chord. So we're gonna start out back here, like we were before. That's your G. Now this is your C. Now there's different sequences. I'll show you the different ways you can do this. If I move up two more to the ninth fret, that's your D chord. So here's your G chord. fast for simplicity so we can get through the video without taking too much time. That's your C chord. That's your D chord. So we play all three patterns. This is the G chord or also known as the one chord. The one chord is the key and we are in the key of G so the one chord is G. All right now we're ready to go to the four chord. At the fifth fret, playing the same pattern. Back to the one again. Now we're going to go to the seventh, which is the five chord, which is D. Go back down. C chord or four chord. G or one. That's called the turnaround. slow and we'll be done. That's the one chord or G. That whole, that whole section. I'm doing it too long, but that's all right. Now here's the four chord or the C. Now we go back down to the one chord or the G. Now we go to the five chord or D. Now we jump immediately down to the four chord or C. that kind of fast, but that 
got us through the entire chord sequence. So you can do it as slow as you like. And make sure you're gonna be, make sure you pick the individual notes. Later on, we're gonna do some different versions of that where we just strum. individual note picking here so you can differentiate the different notes of the walking bass pattern so that should get you started thanks for watching check out my website jagshouse.com cigar box guitar is just like this one since 2004 and we'll see you next time